Hi guys, before we get on with the video, one quick thing. Are you a skating fan? Do you feel the lack of figure skating content? Is off season extremely boring? Then try and numb your pain by clicking the subscribe button and get blessed by the skating gods today. I am extremely sorry for the lack of posting but I've been on holiday to Ireland for 2 weeks which has been pretty froking nice. But now I'm back with some pretty spicy content. In fact, today I'm gonna be telling you guys my unpopular skating opinions. Before we continue, a quick disclaimer. These are just my opinions and if you don't agree with them, it's completely fine but please let's be respectful and don't spread the hate also. They might not be unpopular for you but yeah girl needed a title for the video so the is what we're working with. So let's just get started shall we? Unpopular opinion number 1. Ettery Ramenwig Tarbridz is a good coach. Now, I know that a lot of you think that she starves her athletes, threatens them, makes them train until their only wish would be that of ending their lives by throwing themselves off a bridge in Moscow in the middle of the night but, we have to remember how successful all of her students have been, from Yulia to Evgenia, Alina and now the three as, she's been able to dominate ladies skating in ways never seen before, though tough. I do believe that if your ultimate dream is that of being successful in skating, moving to Team Tutbrids would be the most intelligent thing to do, as she does know how to create legends. Now on to my unpopular opinion number 2, Nathan Chen deserves the program components he has been receiving. I've seen lots of people complaining about the fact that the difference between Yuzu's and Nate's components at Worlds was way too little, but while I do agree on the fact that Yuzu should have been awarded more points. I also believe that Nathan was scored just properly. Yes, at the beginning of his senior career he was still not at the level Shoma, Yuzu and Havi were on, but he has developed himself a lot since and now he does have a unique style that you may or may not like, but that he has in his programs that are really entertaining to watch. Which brings us to my unpopular opinion number 3, Nathan and Shoma's programs aren't empty. So. I feel like we must be too used to Tutbridge's is crazy packed with transitions programs, because Unikin was not known for having that many transitions either yet I've never seen so many people making such a fuss about it. Both skaters are extremely good interpreters with spot on musicality and they do know how to sell their programs. If you're not particularly fond of their styles then you might not like watching them, but saying that they are boring to watch may not apply for everyone as there are other fans like me who do not think that this is the case. Unpopular opinion number 4. Okay, I'm ready for many people to disagree on this opinion, but I honestly think that Alina Zajitova is too overhyped. Most of her jumps are under-rotated yet she never gets called for this, which I think is really unfair for others who maybe get the under-rotation calls for jumps still better executed. Plus, her skating skills compared to the ones other ladies like the Japanese's ones or Yunsu's have are really weak and make her skating look floppy and rushed. Her musicality does not go beyond landing on particular musical accents and her interpretation could really use some more training. The fact that her components are still higher than skaters like Satoko, Evgenia or Cory is beyond my comprehension. Really? I think that the other girls in her team have more potential than she has and I'm sure that also Ettery has noticed it, which makes me wonder for how long she will allow Alina to continue skating at such a high level. Unpopular opinion number 5, Evgenia has good spins. Okay okay, I know. This season may not have been her best one spins wise, but in my opinion she always puts a graceful touch on all of her spins. I am sad that her Beelman is gone for good. But the camel she's now using it to replace does not look as bad as everyone claims it to be. Also, considering that she's been struggling with back injuries for almost two years now, I do believe that she's a more than average spinner. Unpopular opinion number 6. This is probably the least unpopular opinion of all but I still felt like putting it out here because I seriously can't stress this enough. Quads are not sustainable for little growing girls. The fact that now they are becoming kind of a must for ladies honestly scares me, as many skaters now feel obligated to try and execute them in order to keep up with the younger girls. Not to mention that these supposedly called quads are always executed with wrong technique that can be really damaging for the body. In my humble opinion ladies nowadays should focus more on improving their skating skills and overall presentation rather than the technical side. And as Havi once said, 
there won't be many fans skaters only succeed to last for very few seasons. Unpopular opinion number 7. I'm calling this an opinion but I really shouldn't as this is not tea. This is facts 10,000% confirmed. Rika Kihira is the most complete female skater that we've got nowadays. Not only is she technically brilliant, always challenging herself by learning really difficult elements like her iconic triple axel and the newcomer, the quad sal core, not to mention that she's also one of the few who has correct technique for all six jumps, but she also has great skating skills and good presentation. With all of that being taken into account, I do believe that she's a truly underrated skater. Unpopular opinion number 8. Now on to another one many will probably disagree on. The exhibition Elizaveta Tuktabashiva did to Toxic by Britney Spears was inappropriate and too daring. Yes, she is the empress and yes, she should get more recognition because it's honestly hard to find someone as extra as Liza, but her exhibition just was not it for me. What many found fun and sexy, I only found annoying and if she hadn't stayed on the ice shirtless for so long she wouldn't have probably got pneumonia, which prevented her from competing at nationals and consequently at worlds. Unpopular opinion number 9, although the former juniors who dominated the field for two solid years are now turning senior, there's still a lot of hype on other phenomenons like Camila Vailiva or Alyssa Liu, who will start competing in juniors this season. But frankly, I feel like lots of people are sleeping on Anastasia Terakanova. Like seriously, sleep on beds, not on Nastaya. I think she is by far the best junior on the circuit as for right now, with stunning jumps executed with correct technique, killer skating skills and ability to draw watchers in her performances. She's so passionate about what she does and the grace and ease her skating has should be appreciated more. A true, underrated talent. Unpopular opinion number 10. Brady Tennell is underappreciated. She's been in seniors for two years now, and at Autumn Classic this past season everyone seemed to be really impressed by her improvement, but she was not talked about afterwards, which I find surprising as she's really developed a lot, with minimal prioritization fast centered spins and good speed. Her free to Romeo and Juliet was one of my favorites and she sold her short program to that mysterious, which like music well. I wish she wasn't so overlooked. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment down below your unpopular opinions. Until next time.